Hey there, and thank you for joining me. I want to share a couple of shirts my dear friend made me. Uh, she did a great job. U equals U, unattachable equals untransmittable, with my nice logo on the back, and the second shirt I'm wearing right here, and nothing's on the back there. Thank you again, and you did a fantastic job. If you're not sure what undetectable equals untransmittable really means, is that no blood test can detect the HIV virus in your system, and you can no longer uh, infect anyone, uh, sexually or otherwise. So there's bonus content near the end of the video, so stick around for that. It's about new treatment for PrEP. Now, here we go. shout out to Shiloh about, about my recent Facebook comment post of my Andy Fed's Achieving the Dream book review. She states, Michael K, your openness and honesty to speak out and break the stigma always amazes me and, and I'm super proud of you for all that you do to break the silence and stigma. Wow, I appreciate any support from family and friends and anyone actually out there. Not all will agree with what I'm doing, but that's okay. I know I'm doing something here and it feels right. Here are some of the reasons why I won't keep silent. Every day, an estimated 4,000 people are infected with HIV, and 1,100 of those are between ages of 15 and 24. Also, an estimated 650,000 people have lost their lives to AIDS-related illnesses back in 2021. It's not getting any better. We need to talk about it. I see their goal is to end this endemic by the end of the decade of 2030. We'll see about that. I believe the pharmaceutical companies are making far too much money and getting rich off of people's illnesses of many kinds, including HIV. It's affecting lives and families all around. So we have a dress code at work, like most places. This one's quite strict, like you're not allowed to have anything with a logo on it or writing. So even, for example, a few months ago, my supervisor stopped me with this Superman logo on my hat and told me I needed to take it off, which I think is a little ridiculous. It's not offensive. Uh, anyway, it is what it is. But so when I got these shirts, I was so excited. After five o'clock when most management goes home, I decided to put that black shirt on I showed you earlier. And uh, the supervisor, the same one that told me to took the hat off, uh, he walked by and looked at it and the back of it first and muttered the name Michael K. I heard him, but he just kept walking. And then later on, he looked at it again and was reading out loud, U equals U. And I walked off again. I'm like, okay, good. He's going to let me wear it. I mean, it was later in the day. I was kind of proud of wearing that shirt to work that day. Uh, I had some great response from some women. Uh, some men were looking at it and reading it, but not confronting me if they had any questions of what it really meant. Uh, maybe they did. I, I would have liked them to come up and even just have a conversation with me, any of them, but that's fine. Maybe it got people thinking about it and or talking about it, even if it's at my expense. Talking about HIV and AIDS and not sweeping it under the rug helps combat stigma and maybe people will learn the latest treatment and prevention and hopefully an eventual cure. I've been seeing commercials on TV recently and I had no idea about this. The medication is called Atrotube and it's a long-lasting injectable medication to prevent people from getting HIV with people who are at high risk groups. It's typically injected in the muscles of the buttocks and it has to be given by a healthcare provider once every two months, which I think is kind of good because people forget to take their medications every day. Like I say, I don't, I have, I have a very rigid schedule and I take my medication every day, I never miss, but there are people who have different schedules and they do. And something about, I, I guess, taking prep every day, I think that'd be kind of a hard thing to remember to do. I mean, it's not keeping you alive. It's just preventing from HIV, whereas I already have the disease, so I'm treating it. It's utmost important I take it. Like what if you haven't had sex in a few months and you just stop taking it? You know, that's a possibility. Or then you jump back on when you get into a really sexual relationship. That takes time to get into your system and working properly again to, to prevent. So yeah, I think an injectable for uh, PrEP is a great idea and I'm thrilled that they actually have this out and available today. Unfortunately, back in 2017 in Canada, I had no option for PrEP. And, but I get on Facebook, I keep getting pop-ups to link them to a place to take a test to see if I'm eligible to take PrEP, which is obviously useless to me because I'm already infected. 
but it's good to see it's out there and I'm hoping a lot of people who are at high risk will take the test and decide to get on PrEP and it'd be the world would be a safer place to live. I mean, if you you know the higher risks are men who have sex with other men, usually anal sex, uh, sex workers, and intravenous uh, drug users. Thank you for taking the time today and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe and tap the notification bell to be notified. Until next time, Michael K here. Take care everyone.